I wish it weren't true, but your management style really sets the tone for that entire operation. It'd be easy if you could just kind of go on your way and do what you need to do, and then the employees would just kind of make their way. It doesn't work like that. You know that. So you've got to be accountable for your behavior, and that's going to make the entire difference on your operation. You set the tone. Your behavior is on display at all times, and what you do somewhat cascades down to the rest of your team. So I need you checking yourself. Let me offer this to you. Poor service is a direct reflection of the leaders, the managers, attitudes, and actions. Do you agree with that? Let me say it again. Poor service is a direct reflection of the manager's attitudes and actions. Now, agreeing with it is not a lot of fun because you indict yourself. And we'd, we'd rather not do that. It does mean we maybe have to check ourselves and make some changes in our behaviors. But that's what I'm asking you to do. Let me give you a simple example of what I mean of manager style. And I know it's sometimes really easy to think about, yeah, but if leadership would make these changes, I want you right there, your operation, your facility, to think about the, how this applies to you. My sister and I were having lunch one day. We had ordered pizza and tea. We were in a building shaped a whole lot like a hut. I, I won't name where we were. But our pizza had not arrived. Tea had. Took a sip of the iced tea. Horrible iced tea. You, you've all had it. You've been brewed too long. It was really bitter. So I, I simply got the waitress's attention and asked for a lemon, thinking, you know, make it a little better and be able to drink it. And she said, We don't have lemon today. We'll have them tomorrow. I'm sitting in a restaurant that is an out parcel with a strip to a strip shopping center that is anchored by a very major grocery store, a Kroger grocery store. But I'm sitting there, and she said, we don't have it. I, I guess food supplier comes on Wednesday, it was Tuesday, and whatever they're out of that is a non-essential item, they just make it until the next day. I, I guess if it were pizza sauce, they'd be figuring out what to do. But there is some manager's policy, my guess, is it says you can't take $20, $10 out of the cash drawer, walk to Kroger, buy a bunch of lemons, slice them extremely thin in order to carry us through to the next day. So here I am frustrated. Do I take my frustration out on the manager who created the policy or that waitress? The waitress gets it. What a shame. Because the manager in most cases is creating these policies, these procedures that don't work. For the customer and then the frontline employee gets the brunt of the customer's frustration now again i know it's real easy to sit there and say you know i don't have control over this stuff this stuff comes from corporate i i can't change it i do ask you to look at the stuff that you might be creating that literally is tying the hands of your team members that so that they're not able to serve the customer as they want to i think sometimes we create policies and procedures that are truly aimed at the 5% of our customers, the ones who maybe are out to abuse us, take advantage of us, but then the other 95% of our customers don't want to do business with us because our policies and practices are really aimed at the 5%. So my question to you is do you have any, we don't have any lemons today, we'll have them tomorrow. Because those kinds of things can make a difference in how customers experience us and our business. Go back, do a check. What are you doing as that manager to truly allow your team members to do what's right for the business as well as the customer? I believe those two can be balanced if you as that manager are setting the guidelines, setting direction letting people know how far they can go and what's expected of them to balance organizations, business needs, as well as customer needs. And then within those boundaries, let them make decisions. And I know you're thinking the word empowered. That's what we're doing. We're truly empowering our team members to make decisions on behalf of the organization as well as the customer. You guide it, though. You're not abdicating 
your control and power. You're still in charge. But if you've hired well, you've trained well, you've had incredible discussions, you run great team meetings, then this can happen with your team members who are facing customers every single day. We know the best out there are looking at these kind of issues and the best managers make it happen. Your style sets the tone. You're constantly on display. What are your team members watching? And what do you want them to do after today?